been wearing the same costume to your office Christmas party for the last 20 years? Well, that's kind of boring. Maybe this year it's time to spice it up a bit. With a giant Christmas tree ornament on your head. Now that's a costume. Hey everyone! Today I'm going to try and make a giant bobblehead Christmas tree ornament thing to go on my head for a Christmas dress up party I'm going to in a couple days. I have no idea how I'm going to do it or if I'm going to get it done in time, but that's never stopped anyone, ever. So let's get making. Okay, so I knew I needed to use something round to make my pattern and balls are round, so I decided to use one of those. I started by wrapping the ball in a layer of cling wrap, and then a layer of plastic packing tape. Ah, cut my finger. Don't cut your fingers. I'm going as fast as I can without hurting my ball. I mean, the ball or myself. Once the ball was wrapped, I drew a line around the center of the ball. Handy the basketballs come with lines on them, because I could just follow one of the lines under the tape. What's unfortunate is that basketballs aren't split up into sixths, so I used some rubber bands to mark out the other two lines. Using my ring ruler, I was able to get the spacing of the rubber bands reasonably accurate. I traced the rubber bands with my marker and then cut out a section. This is also a good time to try not to cut the ball. In order to get this piece to lay flat enough for my pattern, I still need to cut it one more time right across the center. So now I have a pattern for a basketball. But I need to figure out how big I want my ball to be. Hey Sam, what do you think if this was the size of my head? I think that's good. Pretend this is me with a giant ball for a head. With the size of my bobblehead determined, all I needed to do was some measuring and some fancy math to figure out how much I needed to scale the pattern. With my pattern all scaled up, I was ready to start making. I traced my template 12 times onto some 10mm thick foam mats and then carefully cut out all the pieces. Next I began the annoying and somewhat time-consuming job of gluing all the pieces together. Now I had my ball, but it didn't feel quite round enough for me, so I stuffed it with an exercise ball and pumped it up. I wrapped the whole thing in cling wrap and used packing tape wherever there was a seam on the ball. I then used my heat gun to soften the foam so that it would take the form of the exercise ball. I had to be very careful to keep the heat gun moving so I wouldn't melt the cling wrap. Then I left it overnight to cool. Good night, ball. In the morning I woke up bright and early to make sure it was still okay. And it was. I wanted to be absolutely sure that the foam had heated up enough to keep its shape, so I decided to give it a hot bath. I was having a little bit of trouble holding it where I wanted it in the water, so I got in too. For a quick cool down, I just tossed my ball out into Canada. Once cool, I unwrapped it, deflated the exercise ball, and marveled at its symmetry and beauty. I then measured and cut some 4cm wide strips from 2mm foam and used them to cover all the seams on the ball. I made a tube of foam that would sit on my head and then also heat from my head can escape out the top like a chimney and cut a hole the same size at the top of the ball. Insert the tube, which is now a lot longer than it was a second ago and measure it to get the right height. This is okay. the top Oh, opening. that's the top! See, yeah. and it's, but it's a hole yeah. so it's like a hat. So. Okay. It's like you put it on and then, and so I've just got to figure out where I want this to sit. <laughs> like how, is that the right part is down or should it be down a little further? I feel like it should be down a little further. Like there? See, because then it'll move with my head, right? Okay? <laughs> oh, that's so good. What do you think? It's, it's great. Right there? Of course, I needed to be able to see, so I cut some holes. Holes in the shape of a diamond. 
And what goes better with diamonds than swirls? I traced my swirls onto the foam and then followed the lines with my glue gun, creating a nice raised line. You'll notice I'm holding the tip of the glue gun about a centimeter away from the foam and letting the glue just fall onto the line. And I have the glue gun set at a fairly low temperature so the glue doesn't get too thin. This does take a fair bit of practice, but it's a handy effect to be able to do. I used the back of a pen to make some fake rivets and the top from a bottle to create a ridge texture on a strip of foam. I just heated the foam first and then rolled the top over it. Cut a nice scalloped edge with some scissors and glued it around the top. I added the hangy thing and then it was time to paint. I set up my basement paint booth, remembering to remove all dinosaurs from under the plastic. Pulled out my trusty Finish Max Super, which was given to me by Homewright, thanks Homewright, and sprayed the whole thing black. Then I got out my airbrush and painted all the panels red. I used my airbrush with black to go over all the swirls to give them a nice shadow, repainted the black on the strips, and went over all the swirls with my metallic paint. Sometimes I accidentally got metallic paint on the red part, but that can be fixed with a wet paintbrush. I also used my metallic paint to paint some squares of window screen, which I then glued inside the diamonds to make it a little harder to see the person inside. Did I mention this is super awkward? The last thing I did was give it a nice shiny clear coat and it was ready to go. Okay, well that's it. The Christmas tree ornament ball head thing is complete. It's fabulous. I'm super happy with how it turned out. I did it in three days, which is probably a speed record for me. I've never seen an ornament like this on anyone's head before in my life. Really, this is kind of like a proof of concept of a whole bunch of other things you could make because anything that's round, you could make a giant thing that goes on your head. Like the Death Star, you could have a Death Star head, a baseball head, a ping pong ball head, bowling ball head, golf ball head, basketball head, billiard ball head, beach ball head, squash ball, racquetball, tennis ball. The possibilities are endless. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed yourself. See ya.